All right, so this is week four now of Purple Raiders Sit Down. I am William Moyer, and here joining me today is our starting quarterback, Noah Boudry. He is a junior on this Mount Union team. Thanks for coming in, Noah. Yeah, thank you for having me. Appreciate it. Yeah, and uh, let's get right into it. So this week we've got Otterbein on the schedule. Going to take that trip over there. And um, you're now going into the fourth game of the season, and you're getting to know your teammates better, just starting to gel with them even more. And uh, what are you and the team really doing to prepare for this game against Otterbein? Yeah, that's kind of been the focus um, is getting to know, you know, the receivers, the running back, the offense uh, more and more every day at practice. Um, and we're just focusing, dial in, dialing in on every single day at practice of how we can be better, how we can get to know each other better, um, kind of beginning to realize what people are thinking without having to say anything. Um, and that's just making us a better offense as a whole. Yeah. And um, so far on the season, the team is 3-0. and gotten some big wins so far obviously the John Carroll game and then uh Baldwin Wallace last week that was another big win uh what do you think about team's performance so far on the season how you guys have been playing yeah we're getting better um every play really every game um we're really focusing on what we need to do um taking it one day at a time throughout the week really focusing on uh, just bettering ourselves it's not really about our opponents um that's what kind of the focus of the year is it doesn't matter who we're playing we're going to go in with the same attitude um same level of competition you know we're going to go in and play as hard as we can um and you know the score is going to take care of itself yeah and uh game versus bw last week if we could go a little bit more in depth on that what did you think was the biggest takeaway from that game and the 52 to 14 win that you guys had yeah it was a great game um offensively came out firing on all cylinders um had a great first half defense played great uh, it was a great full uh, team win um, started a little slow in the second half. We really uh, shot ourselves in the foot um, with that opening second half drive, especially after a great kick return by Darnell. Um, a couple silly penalties that hurt us. Um, but other than that, it was a great game. Um, and really the only time we've been stopped offensively is when we do it to ourselves. Uh, so just minimizing um, and really getting rid of those mistakes, we can really take off as an offense and as a team. Yeah, I believe you guys, was it the first six drives of the game, you guys scored a touchdown on every single drive. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And um, helped also by that Marcus Jackson sure. yeah, fumble absolutely. recovery. I had him on the show last week, and um, I was real, really happy for him. I kind of wished I would have had him on this week so oh, I could have talked to him about that fumble recovery. But Yeah, no, he, he's a great yeah. great person, great dude, um, and heck of a player, and he definitely deserves everything that you know is coming his way. Yeah, yeah, definitely. And um, – so, so far this season, you've thrown for five touchdowns while also rushing for five touchdowns in just three games so far. And in each of those games that we've had, you've had at least one of each, at least one passing, at least one rushing. Um, how do you think it helps the team that you're such a versatile player that you can really be a threat both running and passing? Yeah, um, I think it helps uh, with both the running and passing game if um, they try and flood the box with guys to stop the you know running back run or quarterback run. We're just gonna throw it outside and you know let our great receivers work. And you know if they try to stop the pass, we're just gonna um, hit them with a run with our deep running back room. Uh, it's really just a testament to how great the offense is and how versatile everyone is, uh, not just me. Yeah, and um, this season for you, your first season as the starter on this team, what does it mean to you to have the confidence? of your coaches and the other players on the field for you to be really the guy that's leading the offense yeah it's a great feeling uh it's really a blessing um to come in in the spring after taking the fall off um coaching football back home and being with my family um to really come back here and you know have everyone's trust and you know speaking with the coaches every day uh building that relationship um coach junior and coach dart we're just you know we're all we're clicking on all cylinders um and to communicate as well as we do um, and as an offense it's, it's a great feeling to have everyone's trust back there and you know just continuing to work and show everyone really um, what it means to be in the position I'm in yeah and uh, you were academic all OAC in your last season as a player congratulations on that <laughs> thank you huge accomplishment and um, what does your education mean to you and uh, what does what are if you know yet your plans after playing football here at Mountain, I know you're only a junior. You've got some time to think about it, but 
if you have any idea what your plans are, you know? Yeah, um, you know, just really uh, diving into school, um, trying to learn as much as I can um, in the short period of time that I am here. Um, but in terms of what I want to do after school, I own a business right now. It's called Jesus and Football. Um, I do youth camps in the summer um, and then host tournaments as well and have a full clothing line with all of that. So that's a lot of fun, and I'd like to take that as far um, you know, as, I'll, as I'm as willing to go. Um, but also just continue to be around football as much as I can and uh, lead people in the right direction and um, share Jesus along the way. So that's that's the goal. Yeah, and where can where can people find your uh, business? Uh, yeah, you can go on Instagram, uh, Jesus and Football. You can go uh, to Google www.jesusandfootball.org. Um, really anywhere. Yeah. Yeah, I know. I've seen Chris rock some of your stuff yeah, sometimes, absolutely. and it's nice to see. But. Uh, yeah, that's awesome. And um, Mount Union, obviously, the impressive history that they have, uh, 13 national championships. And um, how does that, the legacy of the program, influence the way that you and the rest of your team uh, approach the game every day? It's a, you know, we have a give a, get after uh, mentality. Uh, we have a focus every day when we go to practice. Um, we're not just going through the motions, and especially um, when you get to teams that um, you know aren't as good or uh, you know smaller teams it's really just you know how good can we be um, and especially at practice going against the number one defense in the country um, every single day at practice um, really just you just have to be dialed in you have to be focused um, getting better and improving each day and as far as the history of Mount Union um, it's motivating because you want to just add to that list of national championships you want to add to the list of OAC championships um, and just continue to get better each day and you know try to be as great as um, the teams of the past yeah and talking about uh, the history of the program are there any former players or anybody that I know sometimes alumni will come back and talk with you guys is there anybody that you have specifically like gotten to know and have really like had them really help you along your journey here as a Purple Raider uh, yeah I mean my freshman year uh, Kevin Burke was my quarterback coach uh, I got real close with him and he taught me a lot of things and then um, obviously growing close with Braxton uh, the past few years I uh, learned a lot from those guys and you know just continuing to try and be great and um, apply everything I learned uh, from them uh, to the game that I you know play now yeah and then last couple questions here just some a fun question here what is yeah. if you have any type of pregame meal pregame superstition or ritual even a playlist something you like to play is there anything that you really like to do pregame yeah, um, I'd say uh, I, I love pasta, um, so that'd be my pregame meal, uh, whether it's in the morning or uh, the night before, um, do pasta. And then as far as uh, other rituals or anything, I you know, I dive into my Bible uh, before the game uh, in the morning, and then um, the team's been doing uh, Saturday morning chapels. Um, Marcus and I have been rotating between leading those, and it's just been great. And then Friday nights, uh, before game nights, we'll have Bible study with the team, and um, it's just been so great to see the numbers there and just the people that want to um, further their relationship with not only Jesus but with the teammates um, on the team. And I think it makes you want to, you know, go that much harder for the for your team. And um, as you just play that much harder on Saturdays and throughout the week, um, with that in the back of your mind. So that's uh, you know, really my rituals, and then also what the team does uh, to get ready for games on Saturdays. Uh, so it's pretty awesome. Yeah, awesome. So uh, thank you for coming in. Yeah, thank Noah you very Boudry. much. Great season so far, 3-0. and Looking forward to this game at Otterbein. It's going to be a long drive over there, two hours. Not as long as Ferrum, though. Yeah. That was a, that was a tough drive, I'm yeah, sure. Yeah, for sure. We're leaving Saturday morning, too. Yeah. Uh, it's not an overnight, so yeah. it'll be early. <laughs> yeah. Well, all right. Thank you for coming thank in, Thank you Noah. very much. Good luck. Thank you.